What's so great about Arlington, Texas, and why would you move there? We'll get into it. Hey folks, Tom Tremonti here with another video in our relocation series. Whether you're looking to relocate to the Dallas-Fort Worth area from outside the area or within the Metroplex, and you might be thinking about a city that you've never lived in before, I want you to check out this entire video series. Uh, we have highlighted almost every city within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and today we're talking about number 22 in our series, Arlington, Texas. So we've done some other videos on Arlington, you might want to check those out, but today we're talking about the city as a whole. And Arlington's about 100 square miles, about 400,000 people, so it's a big city relative to Dallas and Fort Worth. Sometimes it gets thought of as a little bit smaller, but Dal Worthington is actually the name of the MSA, the Metropolitan Statistical Area. And uh, as far as that goes, we are in the top one, two, or three in the United States, depending on what year that research is done. But Arlington's a big area. A lot of education in Arlington with uh, University of Texas at Arlington being kind of the big boy there. There are uh, tens of thousands of students at UTA and it's growing all the time. And a very high number of UTA students actually stay in the Arlington area, at least for a little while after school. So you've got a pretty high number of highly educated uh, uh, you know, employee opportunities there. Uh, ironic side note, Mensa is uh, based in Arlington. So uh, you've got a, a, an attention, a focus on kind of a high intellectual aptitude there. Um, uh, Arlington is known as one of the largest cities in the United States without public transit. So uh, you wanna make sure you have a car if you're in Arlington, but there's a lot of places to go if you are in the area. You've got incredible facilities for Major League Sports. You've got the home of the Dallas Cowboys there. You've got uh, the Texas Rangers Stadium and the brand new Texas Rangers Stadium, as well as Texas Live, which is in that same little corridor there in Arlington, uh, which is an incredible new uh, entertainment district. You've got restaurants and bars and concerts and all kinds of incredible things down there. Once you're down in the area, most of that is pretty much walkable or uh, there's, there's all kinds of opportunities for rides down there. There's even some experimenting happening down in that area with driverless cars. So good luck on that. I'm not sure I trust that quite yet, but check it out. And, uh, and Arlington has a lot more to offer as far as parks and uh, recreational activities and other uh, institutions of higher learning. Um, and really a great central location west of Fort Worth, east to Dallas, uh, and then south to you know most of the rest of Texas. So a really great location, a growing city. And uh, uh, as far as public schools, you've got four school districts. You've got Arlington, Kennedale. Let me check my notes here and make sure I've got them all correct. Um, Mansfield and which one am I forgetting here? Mason, Arlington, Mansfield, Kennedale, and one more that I can't remember, but we'll add on the screen. Anyway, uh, Arlington's big. It's bigger than most people think. It's covered by four school districts, 100 square miles, 400,000 people, and it's a growing population all the time. Uh, most people know Arlington for uh, sports, but there's a lot more to it. But I will say uh, that sports district is really, really great, worthy of visiting. If you're not from the area, get to know Arlington. We've got a bunch of other videos. Arlington actually is home of Six Flags as well as a big water park there as well. You can check out that video right up here. Uh, but there's a lot more to it even than that, much more than we could cover here in a short video. So check that out and let us know what you think. Comment below. Uh, if you have other questions about Arlington, let us know. Maybe we'll shoot another video or we'll definitely address that down in the comments. Of course, if we could help you buy or sell a home in the Arlington area, we've got folks on our team who specialize in the Arlington area, who know a lot more about it even than me, and we would be more than happy to earn your trust and earn your business and help you buy or sell or invest in real estate there in Arlington. So check it out, let us know how we can help you, and I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.